Hello and welcome to the Weather Hazard Briefing presented by National Weather Service Pocatello for Sunday, May 5th. We've got a lot to cover in this presentation. There's all sorts of weather-related uh, hazards going on in the next couple of days. So uh, hang on to your hats. This, this will be a long one. First of all, we have a spring snowstorm coming in May. It's not the first time we've had, in fact, in the Pocatello area, we've had six uh, winter storms in May over the last 25 years. And actually, we even had snow on May 1st, so maybe not so much of a surprise. It is a low with a cold front that brings a return of the snow. It's continued and continued very windy conditions. There are currently some winter weather advisories in effect. Uh, the cold air behind the front will plunge temperatures with extended periods below freezing. We're looking for windy to very windy conditions. Uh, not so much today, but especially on Monday and Tuesday. We'll take a look at that as well. And to add into it, there's a risk of thunderstorms with all this unstable air moving in. Uh, temperatures do look to bottom out on Wednesday night uh, after the storm has passed to our east for the most part. And there's just some leftover precipitation, winds, and colder temperatures uh, may be offset by the heavier precipitation when it comes to flooding issues. That is, the colder temperatures would stop snow melt, but heavier precipitation may actually enhance that at lower elevations. And when will things return to normalcy here? Uh, we are looking for Thursday night and Friday for drier conditions to move in, and that should allow the temperatures to soar, uh, actually to right around uh, climatic normals for this time of year. All right, so here's our satellite image. You can see the massive low spinning around here, spreading the moisture into eastern, well, actually all of Idaho, with the exception maybe of the Panhandle. And here's our weather risk outlook. You can see it's very busy. Uh, we have today moderate rain in a lot of places. It'll be windy in some locations, but not very windy. There's a slight chance of thunderstorms. There's also some overnight snow should develop in the even in the Snake River Plain and the Magic Valley and the South Hills. Now that won't be until late tonight. Meanwhile, by the afternoon in the mountains, we should start seeing some snow in the Southeast Highlands, 6,000 feet, Eastern Highlands, 6,200 feet, Lost River, 6,000, Wood River, 5,500, uh, Sawtooth, 6,000 feet, and Lemai County, 6,600 feet. So you can see the further north you go, actually the higher the snow level is, um, not our usual conditions. Uh, on Monday, rain and snow continues to be likely to chance. You can see there's still a slight chance of thunderstorms in some selected locations. We'll take a look at that in detail. Some very windy conditions for the uh, Magic Valley, especially in the South Hills. It'll be windy in the Snake Plain at least. Um, in the Southeast Highlands, again, some s slight chance of thunderstorms. We have light to moderate snow. This is likely uh, uh, you'll likely see some winter weather advisories for this. Uh, there's a chance of rain and snow in the Lost River, Wood River, and you can see even Sawtooth and Lemon County have some rain and snow likely. And again, there is a chance, a slight chance of thunderstorms in most locations with the exception of the Wood River area. And that actually looks like one of the, the Wood River area looks like one of the least affected by this storm. Tuesday continues in the morning for some morning snow in the Snake Plain and Magic Valley. It once again becomes very windy in the Snake Plain. It continues very windy, uh, especially in the South Hills, and you'll see that. And then in the Southeast and Eastern Highlands, we'll have moderate to heavy snow, so it'll actually increase from the day before. We are looking for afternoon rain and snow likely in unstable conditions with a slight chance of afternoon thunderstorms for Lost River. There's a chance of rain and snow during the day in the Wood River. Rain and snow in the afternoon is likely along with a slight chance of thunderstorms for the Sawtooth area and just a chance of rain and snow, but also a solid chance of afternoon thunderstorms for Lemhi County. See, finally on Wednesday, it starts to let up. We're mostly looking at just windy conditions 
and those will be limited to the Magic Valley and South Hills. Just a slight chance of rain for the Snake River Plain, a chance of rain for the Southeast Highlands. You can see in the Eastern Highlands, though, rain and snow continue to be likely, and a uh, slight chance of afternoon thunderstorms there. In the Central Idaho Mountains, we're basically down to a slight chance of rain, some of it only in the afternoon. And by Thursday, the only place that has a threat of some slight chance precipitation is the our border with Wyoming in the southeast eastern highlands and then in Lemhi County to the north in our border with um, Montana. Okay that was a mouthful. Let's go on to the regional hydrology update. Uh, we continue to have uh, flooding on the Blackfoot River and on the Portneuf River. You can see these four locations. What's happening with the Portneuf is a surge is expected today and we will peak in the moderate flood category, just under major flood stage, we believe. Uh, for the Portneuf River at Topaz, uh, right now it is temporarily at action stage, but we do expect it to go back into minor flood stage uh, by Monday. Uh, other places that have gone into uh, a minor flood include the Blackfoot River at the Butte Road near Fort Hall. So you can see there, and we're right around flood stage, uh, minor flood stage for the Blackfoot River near Shelley. And so those are the problem areas. You can see these other yellow shaded uh, forecast points on our rivers. That would be where it's in action stage, and we'll see what happens with the incoming rainfall. All right, so low temperatures this morning with the cloud cover, very windy conditions at least up until the last uh, hour or two here uh, we've had lots of temperatures still in the upper 30s to around 40 degrees and here's why here's our front right along here a string of lows moving through uh, the Great Basin and you can see it's bringing some mixed precipitation but a lot of it is going to change over to snow uh, later today and into tonight Here's an outlook for thunderstorms. You can see our entire area basically is under a threat for today, and it's mostly slight chance. Uh, rainfall amounts. This is until noon today. You can see we've already had a lot of heavy rain here uh, from Blackfoot down to Oakley. Uh, some pretty good rain here up in Spencer and Island Park as well, and other places some light rain. It continues during the afternoon, but you can see the rain sort of lets up a little bit in terms of amounts. Not quite as heavy, but still continues to be pretty good. This is you know pretty good accumulation for a six hour period. Continues into the evening when there'll be a chance or a risk of thunderstorms with it. And overnight tonight, we get another surge of moisture. You can see, especially here in the eastern and southern highlands where it spikes back up. But even in the Central Idaho Mountains, it starts to increase. Again, you can see here the Wood River Valley, not quite as much. So here's what happens with the snowfall. So if you see any yellow, that's over six inches in six hours, which would be about an inch an hour. You can see the main focus of the snow this morning will be south of I-86 and west of I-15 here in the southern hills and portions of the uh, Caribou uh, National Forest, but also up here in central Idaho as well. This afternoon it actually continues. Things will actually be getting colder in a lot of locations high up. And then in the evening with the sun setting, it gets even colder. You can see more widespread snow really beginning to accumulate here in the Bear River Range. Snowfall amounts overnight tonight continue to be heavy. You can see some places here approaching that inch an hour, especially again south of the Snake River. Okay, wind gusts this morning. It was windy a lot of the night. It did subside a little bit, but here are the wind gusts picking up again. You can see especially in the Snake River Plain, Eastern Magic Valley, and down here uh, in southeast Idaho. Uh, you know, from Soda Springs to uh, the Wyoming and Utah borders. Windy up here along our, our border with Montana. This afternoon though it does let up. 
least a little bit. But this evening, uh, uh, round two begins, and we do expect uh, probably some sort of wind advisory uh, to be issued for this time period. Look at these gusts overnight on Sunday night, that's tonight, a gust of 51 here in Burley, uh, really good gusts reaching all the way up to Idaho Falls. High temperatures today, uh, you can see we will struggle to get around 50 degrees after a beautiful day on Saturday. And low temperatures on Monday morning, you can see what this, the cold temperatures do. We're looking at 5 to 15 degree temperature drops with uh, the cold air moving in. Okay, here's Monday. You can see the lows have moved on, but we continue to have behind us and another low coming in for Tuesday. Uh, again, mostly snow. Temperatures stay cold behind uh, between these two lows. There's no chance for it really to recover. We're going to remain cloudy. Uh, thunderstorm activity, a little bit more split. Some areas being a lot calmer. Uh, here's the rainfall starting Monday morning. You can see much lighter than uh, this morning. And lighter overall here is Monday afternoon when it becomes more showery with a risk of thunderstorms where it's a little bit heavier, especially here on our border with Wyoming. And then late tonight, it continues to be some light rain, but you see some areas are starting to dry out. And there's again Monday evening, uh, sort of repeated itself. Snowfall amounts for Monday morning. Uh, you can see it still remains uh, moderate to heavy here in the eastern and southeastern highlands. And still some pretty good snow in the central Idaho mountains and even the southern hills. Uh, and you saw there Pocatello, Blackfoot, Idaho Falls, Rexburg, Ashton all getting some light snow. Not heavy amounts, less than an inch, but still getting some here on you know, May 6th. Uh, Tuesday overnight snow. See it starts to light up. Again Monday evening not quite uh, as bad as we as sort of the takes a while for the uh, temperatures to drop again. All right wind gusts for Monday. Look how much stronger these are. A lot more widespread 50 plus knots for wind gusts. And the 40 line goes all the way up to Blackfoot. So I would expect, and there's even some 60 plus here in, in the Southern Hills. It gets really windy uh, Monday here. Monday night, it continues to be windy. See all these winds now primarily out of the West. High temperatures on Monday, actually warming a little bit. I think it's because of how windy we're going to be Windier days, uh, if you're given the same uh, air mass over you, windier days can tend to be a little bit warmer. Low temperatures the next morning here on Monday night. Uh, you can see temperatures continuing to cool. A lot of places getting uh, close to freezing. And so I would expect uh, to see potentially some sort of freeze or frost uh, conditions uh, on Tuesday morning. Okay, our last day here that we'll look at, Tuesday and Tuesday night, you can see again widespread snow over us. The thunderstorm activity though is limited to areas in the extreme eastern part of our forecast area. And here you can see light precipitation continues with the heaviest amounts again over the eastern highlands. And the same with the snow. And that actually does continue into Tuesday afternoon, but uh, graphics were not available. Look at the winds here. Even stronger than Monday in a lot of locations here in the Southern Hills and Eastern Magic Valley. Tuesday night, it's still windy in a lot of places. High temperatures for Tuesday. Now you can see they're starting to cool. Uh, no one gets above 50 degrees basically here on uh, Tuesday and look at these temperatures Tuesday night Wednesday morning this is definitely this is hard freeze conditions mid 20s 
for a lot of locations in the Snake River Plain in Eastern Magic Valley and right around freezing in places like Burley, Jerome, Twin Falls, and Oakley. That's all I have. It was long. Hope this was informative. Um, if you have any questions for us, we are always reachable at this telephone number here, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Or check out the weather yourself at weather.gov slash Pocatello. Thanks for watching.